one of the papers that I've written for V-Stocks involves systematically selling a slightly out-of-the-money put and buying a call spread on a pretty regular basis. And somebody came in and did that uh, a thousand times today using the June V-Stocks contracts. And this would actually be one of the days that I'd be looking to do it the Friday after the previous uh, month's expiration. So with the June V-Stocks up at, at 1370 yesterday, uh, we had somebody sell the June 13 puts for 50 cents. Uh, they bought the 18 calls for 33 cents and they sold the June 25 call for 10 cents. Uh, one of our one of our favorite trade structures on Vol Views, I believe, uh, <laughs> and that, that the result there is a twenty seven cent credit. That that's their minimum profit as long as V stocks is above thirteen between now and June expiration. Uh, they can get a really nice pop, make about seven bucks or so uh, if we get a volatility inv- event and we're up in the thirties. One of the things I like to do with trades like this and estimated where what the prices would be each of the next Fridays between now and June expiration, uh, just because we all know if you do get that pop in volatility that you should be taking a look at monetizing it and not necessarily trying to hold it through expiration. Uh, so, but I, li- I like that trade structure. It's fairly cheap. If V stocks just moderately uh, hangs around in the 13 range, stocks definitely, or this trade's definitely going to be okay. Uh, but uh, definitely... It- cheap, cheap way to get some upside exposure to V-stocks. And uh, I really, I I, historically, the front month V-stocks future has been more reactive to global volatility events than VIX. It is at a slight premium right now to VIX, but I do think you're you're being given some opportunities uh, to get long volatility in a part of the world that is closer to a lot of the problems than we are right now.